guys to have. Uh, Riley, there's a big pack with you at about a mile and three quarters. What's going through your head at that point? When did you decide to make your move? So, there was definitely a very big pack until probably about mile half. I knew that I was just trying to make sure, stay conservative, and make sure that I had enough for the last few hills in the last mile. So about two miles in, two miles in, I just wanted to see if I could push away from the pack and it ended up working out. Okay, gentlemen, they're going to hang around for a few minutes. Do you have any other questions? But before we leave, Molly is going to present the winner's trophy. Stand up. Hey, congratulations. You ran so incredibly fast today. An amazing accomplishment. Have so much fun at Nationals. Great work, David. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Pete, I've got a question. Okay. Have you guys uh, in... Uh, Hour or so since the race, talk amongst each other about setting some goals, especially uh, Midwest coming away as the champions. I'll answer for that. We're always quiet, humble, blue collar, and kick butt. <laughs> so what's going through your head when you have like about 20, 25 runners with you? almost at two miles into the race. Honestly, I enjoy it because it helps push me along. Having as many people as there was um, t today in the race is just a very good motivation. I bet it motivates them as well to keep going and everything. You made your move just before two miles. Did anybody go with you at that point? Or you just um, Isaiah went with me for a little bit. I could definitely hear him right behind me, so I was a little worried for that. But other than that, I think that was it. 14, you, 1447 was your PR, but did you, ex you said you, you did not expect a time under 15 minutes. This course usually gets sloppy. Yeah. This was, it was in great condition. Did mm -hmm. they comment on the course? Um, I mean, like you just said, the conditions were pretty much perfect. There were a few areas where it was a little bit slippery mud, but it wasn't like deep where you'd sink in it. So you could just like power through it. And it was really, honestly, it was, other than that, it was dry. It's completely dry, which is just perfect for a course like this. The tradition of the Midwest of running great as a team the Nationals in yep. San Diego. You have a great crew with you, too, oh, yeah. right? So there was no talk about it whatsoever, or is it just a foregone conclusion that you're going to go in and kick some butt? That's pretty much what um, we want to do, is just like go in there, give it our all, and see what we can do, and hopefully kick some butt. Speaking of kicking butt, Michigan runners over the past few years, and Hobbs last year with yep. excellent running. What kind of effect does it have on the runners in the state of Michigan? Um, it definitely motivates us a lot, and with us having these crazy conditions at time that Michigan tends to give us, mm -hmm. it really helps strengthen us a lot. San, beautiful San Diego two weeks after that. Are you looking yep. forward to uh, sunny California? Oh yeah, I mean, I've never been to California, so this will be a first, but it will definitely be real nice and real fun. Yeah, the great state of Michigan where you're from has produced a lot of champions, yep. and hopefully you'll be one of those guys. And We look forward to seeing you in the next couple of weeks. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right. Probably hope.